What's up, what it do, man? It's your boy, Daddy Gamer, aka Player One, the guy himself, and welcome to another Outriders video. Hit that like button and subscribe for more Outriders content and video game content in general. With that being said, let's get into the video. Now, I want to preface this by saying that this is a status power build, so we are going to be doing burn damage primarily. So, this is a solo type build this is a solo play build you can play with other people you can take this in lobbies and rooms to play around you will do numbers damage numbers should be on the screen so you can keep up or at least be able to put up a couple billion at the very least other than that you still can complete content with this build and you can still have fun with this build and i want to say shout out to the guy who told me about fortress that mod worked wonders so shout out to you i appreciate you for putting me on to that because i was not thinking about it at all it was nowhere on my radar and then you, you told me about it i put it on and you're gonna see the wonders we doing with this build and y'all gonna see in the clips in the video that y'all seeing now of the build y'all gonna see how everything works so with that being said let's get into the class tree so here's the class tree right here we're gonna go all the way to tempest and then we're gonna shoot up the middle going all the way up to the top through the middle is gonna give us a 45 percent increase of anomaly damage when we use ash blast and stuff like that and going all the way in the end in tempest is gonna give us some resistance piercing some more cooldown some more anomaly power and uh just some more damage in our explosive damage that way we can clear things and keep up with our damage next is the pack tree so this is the pack tree excuse me i know in the last video can pertaining to this build i said that we weren't going to change the pack tree but we had to because scorch flesh scorch flesh only activates on heat wave volcanic rounds and phaser beam and to show you the skills that we're using we're using thermal bomb ash blast and eruption so thermal bomb is not heat wave it's not volcanic rounds it's not phaser beam and we have to proc burn we have to apply burn a lot of the it's a pyromancer so damn near everything it does applies burn eruption can apply burn now thermal bomb applies burn phaser beam applies burn heat wave applies burn i mean it's in the goddamn name so understand that um we have to apply burn but because this build is made a certain way we're going to miss out on this 30 percent uh status power boost we're going to miss out on that which is totally fine here is the ascension points just so you guys can see i'm currently working on my healing property so skill life leash weapon life leash healing received working on that and that's pretty much that so let's go ahead and get into the weapons now the weapons is where we made where i made some changes and these are good changes so once again shout out to the guy who told me about the fortress mod i've damn near put it on everything <laughs> all right uh, i put fortress on everything and it works great so starting off with the sunfall we had the sunfall with firestorm fortress and shield maiden i pretty much leveled it up and maxed it out i'm not getting rid of shield maiden i picked up a couple more sunfalls but this one is just better we're getting shield on shots and then now we're summoning firestorm on shots and now we're getting a damage increase armor increase and resistance increase on shots so this is just great it's great for bossing it's going to keep us up you can use this as mobbing as well but primarily bossing because we do have a mobbing weapon and speaking of the mobbing weapon let's get into that weapon right now which is going to be the charred lance the charred lance we, i put nicholas revenge on it and it comes with noxious spawns so this definitely covers aoe and smaller areas of enemies so you could be in front of five six enemies and then noxious spawns will go out within one meter range and kill them or just fly somewhere in the map and do more damage to enemies around and around the battlefield and this is what you see me using in the gameplay as well that you guys are seeing of the build for mobbing primarily and just for another mobbing purposes you can also use the thunderclap i have three different thunderclaps with three gray mods so this is why i have three of them but i'm going to show you the one that has omen this is the latest one i picked up so it comes with nicholas revenge we're going to put fortress on this and this one has omen i have a couple more i have one that has weakness trap on it and you know it's it's just great the thunderclap it works great with this build you know it works great so you can use that for mobbing as well and i also have the lucky jinx the lucky jinx is what i use for bossing so when it comes to bossing throw on the lucky jinx keep the sun fall on you go up you go up against the arbiters and like you will see me in the clips 
in the video, you will see me try and get the crits, proc mages rage, and then death Renome is already gonna have our stuff up anyway. And then when it's cooldown, we're gonna go up even more anomaly power. And we have toxic, and you will see why toxic works with this build when we get to the gear. And then uh, yeah, just switch back to the sunfall when you're bossing. Switch back to the sunfall and just keep shooting. Generate that shield. Keep fortress procked up. And burn will do more damage, more damage, more damage, and more damage. You will essentially just basically do more damage in itself against the boss. So let's go ahead and move on to the gear. Now the gear, I was farming for the gear. I just didn't want to put the build out prematurely. I almost did, but I didn't. I farmed some more, farmed some more, and I got some gear. And we have the perfect and the most best synergy however you want to put it that i could possibly find for this so let's go ahead and start with the headgear the headgear is the shackled remember the holy trinity is anomaly power cooldown reduction and status power yes i do have a ronin's amagasa but i need death sentence on here we need death sentence on here for this build if you don't have this on here you're gonna lose a lot of burn damage because enemies take more damage when they're ashed and or afflicted by ash. So we have to have death sentence on. There's no point in having a range if you don't have death sentence. So we have danger close and ash and boost there. That's great. Next, we have the chest piece. It came with abrasion and I put branded on there. Once again, we are using thermal bomb. So, excuse me. We are using thermal bomb. So enemies affected by the skill receive 30% more damage and it came with Captain Hunter as the third mod. Captain Hunter at this point is pretty much self-explanatory. Next, we have the Heat Seekers leg plates. The only other pair of pants you could use are the pants of the Reforge, whatever that's called. So it might be like waist cloth, waist cloth of the Reforge or something else. But nonetheless, Heat Seekers leg plates primarily or push come to shove, use the waist cloth, uh, use the Reforge pants. I put bullet killing on here and these came with virulent compound so this is why the the uh, lucky jinx i have is pretty much god roll at this point because it's in perfect synergization of virulent compound meaning going up against arbiters or bosses that's really slow and stationary or just whenever if you can mobilize them and get the crits off you get the crits off you get the crits off so you get the increased damage from mage's rage you get the crits off and then you get 10 percent more damage on top of that because of viral and compound because the elite is afflicted by toxic or blight fire next we have the gloves in the gloves purple apocalyptic ash increased range already came on there the volcanic dust already was the third mod so this was pretty much garo and the godsend to for this build as well so this is the mod where we can kind of play around with it i decided to put giga blast on i decided to put giga blast on because well we are running eruption and just to clear out mobs faster to clear out battlefield faster make the radius wider and just start smashing through enemies and last but not least, we have the foot, we have the feet, we have the boots, whatever you want to call them, the flippers, the fins. <laughs> we put Edna on here, that way our eruption can actually inflate burn damage. If we didn't have eruption, I guess a uh, phaser beam or like heat wave or volcanic, um, volcanic eruption or volcanic rounds, I said volcanic eruption, volcanic rounds, that way we could proc a uh, scorch yeah scorch flesh and get that 30 percent status power but nonetheless it came with unstoppable force and you need unstoppable force because at this point in time my anomaly power without activation sits at like 3.1 3.2 million and then on activation we're i'm getting up to like 5 million so unstoppable force increases anomaly power by 50 percent of your resistance piercing we go from 3.1, 3.2 to about 2.6, 2.7 anomaly power if uh, if I take unstoppable force off. So don't take that off, put that on, that way you can do more damage. And like I said, anomaly power scales up status power, which means the burn is going to scale up even more, which helps us do a lot more burn damage. So that's the gear and that's everything, man. I really do hope y'all enjoy this video. Really hope y'all like this video. Hit that like button and subscribe for more. And just to update you guys, this is the last status build. This is the last one. So if you've been liking this status power build stuff and you've been liking it, 
and you know this different spin with the pyro master make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more you know i'm gonna take my time and grind this stuff out and and try and come with a different perspective in a different play style or whatever that's just how i am i'm not gonna do no copy and paste if i didn't say earlier in the video i'm not gonna copy paste builds i'm not gonna do whatever will i have a version of certain builds out yes it'll be my own twist on it but i'm not copy and paste builds i'm not doing nothing i'm not gonna copy nobody i do my own stuff and it's gonna take time and i want and i do what i want i do my own thing so don't take it the wrong way don't take it a negative way don't don't stir in nothing negative about it just understand that i'm going to put out what i want to put out and i'm going to do what i want to do so yeah uh like i said hit that like button uh next we're going to be working on lava lich just <laughs> without that being said we are going to work on i am going to work on lava lich and i put a lava lich build out but i am going to put some time into it that way i can get the most damage out of it as possible and i do have gears and pieces i just got to test it out so um yeah man appreciate everybody who came to this video appreciate you liking the video appreciate you watching the video and uh i'm gonna catch you next time man Gone.